Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here just doing this question and answer session that I promised. This is pretty much entirely unscripted, I'm not going to bother scripting so many bloody question and answers. It's just insane, I actually got a lot more questions than I was expecting. Oh well, we'll just have to go through these one at a time, I guess, that's pretty much the only way we can do it. So just a few things I'm going to outline right at the start because multiple people asked about this. I'm not going to do any extremely personal questions. It's just I would prefer to keep how much money I make and what I do secret and all that, you know, it's it's nothing against you guys, I just I just prefer not telling people about that. Secondly, a bunch of people assume that I know a bunch about the news of the Vita. I don't. I'm literally just an aggregate. <laughs> I all I did was all I do is go through R slash Vita and a couple of other sites and I just rip every news headline out of them, Vita related, that I think the Western audiences would be interested in. And I put that down into the weekly update format. So, asking me anything about, do you think XYZ is going to come out on Vita? I'm not going to be answering that, because frankly, I'm terrible at predictions. You have no idea how terrible I am at them. I have never made a correct prediction in my life. Like, I remember, like, every single, like, fucking conference I remember is like, ah, uh, hopefully they'll announce XYZ here, and then they never do. And then the one con- and then the one conference I decide to skip because it's like at 3 in the morning and I'm like, screw it, I'm not waking up that early. It ends up having a bunch of shit happening in it. So, you know, I cannot make predictions, so I'm not even going to try. Third thing is... My favourite games on Vita. This has always been a tough one for me, personally, because... There are so many games I like on the Vita, it's hard to make a list out of them with a specific order and specific things in specific places. So... What I usually tell people is how much time I've spent on Vita games. Because the way I do things is that I'm a very broad gamer, I'm very diverse. So I end up playing a lot of games. The thing is, games have to really, really hook me in, in order to actually keep my attention for very long. But once they do, it's usually a good guarantee that I like something. So, just... Persona 4 Golden, Earth Defense Force 2017, Dynasty Warriors 8... Uh, the Zero Escape, Virtus Last Reward, and Danganronpa duologies, and, oh god, um, oh, there's a bunch of others too that don't have nearly as much time, um, oh yeah, the fifth one was Soul Sacrifice Delta, there. Those are the five games that I've spent the most time on on the Vita, so, you might be able to average that out to the games I like the most, maybe? But, anyway, there you go. Alright, so, we're gonna move on to the actual questions now, and I am going to mention the names of the people who ask these questions, just so you know if it's you or not. Funnily enough, there was a lot of unique questions in here. So, we'll start off with Swapdat00. <laughs> Funny last name. How confident are you regarding the future of the Vita? Wow, you're really going for the balls right at the very beginning, aren't you? I haven't been particularly confident on any particular ground ever since fucking, like, what was it, 2013? Because that was the year that fucking, um, both Killzone and Tearaway bombed, but then there was a bunch of cool-ass indie games that came out in the same year as well on third-party shit. And that's not, not shit as in the sense of it's terrible, just shit in the sense of it's there. And it's like, how can you predict the future of a platform when you've got so many other things keeping it up and going at the same time? It's just weird. I don't know what anyone expects. I don't know. It, it, it could turn around, who knows, there is something I'm working on that might help with that, but I am not opening my mouth about that. Uh, let's see. JP Fingerskater asks, What is your dream Vita game? Okay, this is a bit of an odd one. Now, I've thought about this a few times in the past couple of years, and... Well... There's this one game that's come to the forefront every time I've thought about it. Back on the PlayStation 2 when I was really young, I mean, I am, I'm not that old, I'm like 21 years old right now, I turned 22 in a, in a few months, and, uh, back when I was, I, got, I don't know how old I was, but I was back in high school, since I'm Australian, so I was in high school, there was this one game that I really, really liked to use to play, it was called Road Trip Adventure, it was called Road Trip in the United States, and a lot of people have never heard of it, it's like five bucks on the European PlayStation 3. So you can go and buy it if you want. I won't stop you. Actually, I re actually fully recommend it. It's this weird, like... It, it's called a car RPG. You drive around this open world, winning races, meeting people, doing things, filling up your sticker book and taking photos and customising your car and... 
Frankly, don't play it for more than like an hour at a time, because if you do, you'll end up playing it for like six. I swear, more than once, I've ended up staying up like all night and then just like waiting for it to... And then and, and I just end up uh, looking out the window and I'm like, oh shit, it's morning, I have school. <laughs> it's... It's a, it's a really, really good game. It looks like absolute ass, and the handling model is so funny. It reminds me a lot of that heavy truck speed racing game. But it is honestly one of my favorite games ever. And honestly, it, I enjoy it so much. And I would love to see an updated port of it with new content and stuff on the Vita. But I know that's never going to happen because I think the developers shut down years ago. I have no idea what happened to both, this, both that game series... Or the line of toys that it was based on. So I, I, I don't have a clue. And yeah, I am not going to hold out any hope for that series ever returning. I'd love to take on like a sort of design perspective for a sequel to that. But I, you know, it'll never happen. It never will. Okay, moving along. Um, Sir Ken Kurtiglue. What the fuck? What is your... Uh, no, let me, that was wrong question. The uh, question was, are you fat? First of all, rude. Second of all... Kind of. I've got a bit of a gut, but I'm not. I'm. I've got a bunch of fat in weird places, and I would like to start burning it off. I need to go get more exercise. You rude bastard. Uh, photo, video, samples, etc. He is actually. He's a. He's a big fan. Uh, I've seen him around a lot. Uh, let's see. Uh, what other game consoles do you have? Well, you know about my two PlayStation Vitas. I also have a 2DS. I have a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox One. God, the Xbox One was a big fucking mistake. Bought that for Halo and only Halo, and they fucked up Halo. God damn it. They've been, they're going to fuck up Halo again and again and again, aren't they? Uh, other game consoles. Uh, have a Wii, but it's broken. There's a NES with a broken cartridge slot sitting around here somewhere. So a friend of mine sent that to me, and I, I keep meaning to get to, around to fixing that up, but I just I never get around to it. I really have to apologize to him again. Uh, there's also an Atari 2600, but I don't have the right cord to get that working, and I really do need to get around to getting that, but even if I do, I don't think I have a TV old enough in this house to actually get that thing working. Uh, what else do I have? I have a PlayStation 3 out in the front lounge room, but it barely gets used, because every time I get the opportunity to use it, I'm either in here recording videos or doing something like that, or there's someone out there watching something on that TV, and I can't be using that TV, so... Yeah, I've been thinking about buying a Wii U, but I don't really want to, because I'd only buy it for Hyrule Warriors and Bayonetta 2, and I know someone who owns one and probably won't buy the other, and I keep telling him to let me nick his Wii U, because he tells me he never uses it, but god damn it. Uh, we'll move along. He also asks, are any other hobbies besides video games? Nope. <laughs> what do you expect? I don't do anything outside video games. I mean... I write sometimes, I really need to get around to writing something, but I haven't thought of anything that just sticks in my head well enough to make me actually want to do anything related to it. Maybe I should do NaNoWriMo this year, but who knows how many games are going to announce for fucking November. Okay, um, what else do I do? Nothing else, really. I mean, I, I do computer repair. I help, I, I help old people learn computers from time to time, at least once a week, so... I don't know if that counts as a hobby. I mean, they're kind of intertwined, computers and video games, so you know. Uh, what's your favorite food? Hot chips, french fries, whatever you want to call them, Any anything like that. That's been my favorite food ever since I was so little that I could barely remember, and I probably don't want to. So, okay, moving along. We have Maboroshi2406. It seems like you're into handheld games a lot. Sick. Do you own 3DS? If no, why? If yes, some of your favorite games and your thought on 3DS game collection compared to Vita. Okay, so this is going to probably light a fire under my ass, but I'll talk anyway. So back uh, a couple of years ago, I was I owned a Vita at the same time, at the same time I owned my launch Vita, and I bought a 3DS, right? I bought a 3DS XL because there was a couple of games I wanted to play on it. Excuse me. And there was a few games I was interested in. So I picked up a few games, and uh, oh my god, it was so terrible. I hate almost every Nintendo game on the 3DS. Pretty much every game I've played on the 3DS that has been published by Nintendo I thought is absolute ass and is thoroughly beaten by a game on the DS or on another console. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon hated its fucking guts. Just did not have the same atmosphere that I loved Luigi's Mansion for. 
Mario Kart 7, slowest kart racer I have ever played. What an atrocious mess. I do not like that game one bit. Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Oh man, that is such a boring game. I love Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga and Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Those two games are two of my favorite uh, Nintendo games ever. And for the love of fucking God, they screwed it up with Dream Team. Is it going to be like like the like the odd games are good and the even games are bad? Really? I don't even fucking know. Uh, what was it? Uh, Animal Crossing. I have no idea why people like that. I'm just going to move along from that. Uh, what's, what, what are other games I just have problems with? Kid Icarus Uprising. I've been meaning to give that another shot because I hear the controls are a lot more customizable than I thought they were, but god damn, that game fucking hurts. Uh, there are a couple of games I actually did like, and I know I didn't get to try a lot of the RPGs, but, uh, like Bravely Default or a bunch of the other RPGs like, um, Etrian Odyssey, uh, Shin Megami Tensei 4, which I do actually have on my 2DS at the moment, I'll get to that. But yeah, I haven't tried a bunch of those and Fire Emblem Awakening because at the time I couldn't get them because either they were really fucking expensive or they weren't out yet because fuck region locking, right? So yeah, and uh, there were a couple of games I did like for other reasons. Like um, I got Star Fox 64 3D just on a bit of a whim and I enjoyed that. I haven't actually played Star Fox 64 base, so you know, I, I actually kind of enjoyed it for what it was. Resistance, um, not Resistance, um, Resident Evil Revelations, quite liked it, wasn't that bad, really wish they put that out on Vita, but why the fuck are they porting Revelations 2? Port, uh, Revelations, port Resident Evil 4 for fuck's sake, uh, moving along, moving along. So I have picked up, uh, 2DS now, I've imported the 2DS, because here, here I am thinking that I weren't going to release the new 3DS for another six months in the States, boy was I fucking wrong, it's already out. Uh, uh, the only game I really want on new 3DS is Xenoblade Chronicles anyway, and I can wait for that. I, hell, by the time I get around to getting a new 3DS, my tiny-ass laptop will probably be good enough to emulate the original on Wii, so who the fuck knows. Uh, what have I played on that so far? I've played Fantasy Life, but that's like the most generic, grindy game I've ever played in my life. Uh, what else have I played? Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to just go over and pick up my 2DS at the moment. Because I'll be damned if I remember what the bloody hell I've actually played on this thing. Let's actually turn this on and have a look. I'll tell you the one game I know off the top of my head though. Monster Hunter 4. Monster Hunter 4 was... Monster Hunter 4 is fucking weird. Because it reminds me so much of Tuki Den with how much with how much faster they made the combat compared to the PSP version. But yeah, I kind of fell off the treadmill on that after the 10 hour mark. So, you know. I played the Ace Attorney Trilogy. Did not like that. Uh... I'm going to spoiler alert this here, so just skip ahead for, a, just mute it for a few seconds. Um, basically, I lost the plot on that game when Phoenix and his assistant got tased by that fucking evil bastard in a police, like, building, and somehow he managed to get away with it. No, it completely lost me there. Completely fucking lost me. Anyway, spoilers over. Um, yeah... That I did not like the first game and I deleted it before I played the second and third. So, sorry guys. Uh, what else have I played on here? I've got a bunch of games I haven't got around to playing yet, actually. I played um, Pokemon Omega Ruby, but... Uh, they really didn't change much from uh, the Game Boy Advance games. Uh, just for uh, reference, Pokemon Emerald's my favourite Pokemon game. Just, you know, in general. And, yeah, <laughs> they didn't add anything from it. And the Battle Frontier is still missing and fuck that. Uh, what else have I played? Um, Theory Rhythm. That's actually kind of good, <laughs> I have to admit. It was the last game I was expecting to be good, but I have played it and I quite liked it. Uh, I know, and I'm trying not to take up too much time. I have played Super Smash Brothers, and... Yeah, I can understand why... What the hell? I can understand why people thought uh, the Wii U version was a lot better, and I do agree with them. So, you know, maybe... If I ever get around to picking up a Wii U, but frankly, you'd have to drop a Wii U to like a hundred bucks and bundle in Hyrule Warriors before I consider that. Because I don't have infinite money. I'm not rich. Uh, yeah, but that, that wasn't conclusive or anything. But yeah, I'm not that big of a fan of the 3DS library at all. It's just... I don't know what's wrong with it. It's just... It doesn't seem to be really trying anything new or interesting. I guess that's why I like the Vita's RPGs more than I do the 3DS's RPGs. It's a lot less safe, but therefore it's a lot more interesting. And, you know, all the Nintendo titles being as... Uh, spinning the wheels backwards somehow, as they do, is just, no. Bunch of titles that I think are better on previous generations. 
I need to get around to picking up another DSi or something and grabbing another, like, DS Flash card, getting my old game collection together, because I have I sold it off. So, you know, I kind of regret that now. Uh, anyway, I'm going to move along now. Um, Mod Faisal. I don't know if that's how you say that. What's your favorite Vita design? I assume that means v Vita model, and that's probably the Slim, because... Now, the Heavy Vita is fine, and I do quite like its feel. It does definitely feel more premium. But the battery life is a pain in the ass. The screen can be overly bright sometimes, and uh, the L and R buttons are better on the Slim Vita, and it's a lot lighter, so I can carry it around with me a lot easier, and I don't, and my hands don't hurt after a couple of hours of play. So yeah, there you go. That's how I think about that. Uh, what's your favorite anime from Arturo Perez? I haven't seen that many, to tell you the truth. It's not something I've ever really dipped into. I've seen a couple. I will admit, I've seen a couple. I'm just trying to remember what they are. I've seen, um, Lucky Star. I've seen Neon Genesis Evangelion. I've seen, um... Shit, as I said, I really haven't seen that much. I've been meaning to get around to checking out the big boys like Naruto and, um... One Piece, and I've seen a couple of episodes of a couple of random ones here and there, like Sword Art Online. My favourite, though, which I haven't mentioned yet, is K-On. Uh, <laughs> people, don't don't stab me in the back for that. I fucking love K-On. Every month, I'll just pull up, like, a fucking soundtrack of K-On. I'll just wait for everybody in the house to leave, and I'll just fucking dance in the lounge room to that for, like, half a fucking hour. Because that music is the best happy music. Best happy music ever. That's all I have to fucking say. So, you know, yeah, I'm not going to justify, I'm not going to justify my fucking like, yeah, K on to a bunch of internet people. Okay, um, non CPO, I recognize him, he speaks to me a lot. Uh, what is your favorite Eroge game? Also, what is the next Nuki K game you're looking forward to? First of all, I don't know what the fuck a Nuki K game is. <laughs> Never heard of it. Uh, and favorite Eroge game? Well, I've only ever played one and that was Katawa Shoujo and that, Basically doesn't have a big of a focus on the Eroge as, um, well... Actually, no, that's a lie. I've played, um, Sayano Uta. Do not look that up if you don't want to spend a couple of sleepless nights wondering about some fucking beast laying eggs in your ass. But, yeah, it's, um, but yeah, Katawa Shoujo just wins that one by default. Sayano Uta is disturbing and memorable, but it's definitely not my favourite. Not by fucking far. Okay, um, Winkle Wajentje. <laughs> God, uh, this guy is actually a real legend, and you'll understand why in a minute. Uh, what Vita games do you think have the best soundtrack? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, Wipeout 2048 is definitely one of my favorites. I love Muramasa Rebirth soundtrack. I love um, DJ Max Technica Tune. That's a really, really good one. Um, let me think, let me think. Luminez, Luminez, great soundtrack. I like Luminez 2 soundtrack better, and I really wish they'd re-release them, but... Considering the Luminous IP just got sold off to a mobile developer, we're never seeing another fucking one of those games again. Uh, but my definite favourite would have to be um, Citus, Citus Lambda, because there is not a single song in that game that I wouldn't give a 7 out of 10 or higher, and that is fucking amazing. I have a really, really thin taste of music. My favourite bands that I listen to all the fucking time are um, Amaranth, Soilwork, Dragon Force, and um, Alma, and somehow... All of the songs in fucking, uh, fucking Sidus Lambda, I really, really like. I just, I like all of them, and I don't know why. They're all fantastic. But yeah, I've got no fucking idea. Will Namco be brave enough to localize Rage Burst? They already fucking are. Like, <laughs> seriously, I don't understand why people don't think they are, because they went and registered the Rage Burst subtitle in Europe, so it's like they've always got to be playing something. And frankly, the answer is yes anyway. Because with uh, Tecmo Kale doing the Tukiden Kiwami PS4 and Vita localization, they're going to get a lot of sales and positive press for that. And then, you know, Namco's going to see that and they're going to be like, oh, we might as well just localize both of these, so why the fuck not, right? And finally, when will you be doing a video on Tad Jones? Yes, uh... Winkle Wajentje is a very nice person because he sent me a PM saying... Um, god damn it. He sent me a PM saying, uh, there's, there are a couple of games that you missed out on on your Vita, uh, weekly update, like, a few months ago. And he linked me a game called Taddeo Jones and the Lost Scroll, uh, or the Lost Manuscript or something, I don't know. The name translates in a few different ways, and 
Yeah, it's it's a really fucking weird Vita game. And he... I said to him, uh, Oh, that's a really interesting Vita game, and I'd like to do a video of it on my channel. So I went and looked it up, and I looked on Amazon.se, because that was the only place I could find a listing for it online. And I could not get it to import to, like, Australia. I just couldn't, for no fucking reason. So I just... I went to him and I asked him... I didn't ask him, can you send me a copy of the game? I asked him, can you show me somewhere I can buy this that would ship to Australia? And he said to me, oh man, don't worry about it. Just give me your um, give me your address and I'll send you a copy. And he did. And it's been sitting in my game case for a few months. I would have done a video on it immediately, but unfortunately for him... You know how I've been doing the An Idiot Imports series? Well, the big set of games I imported to do that series all came in on the same day that the copy of Taddeo Jones got delivered. So, I think... <laughs> It's been sitting there pretty neglected. I've played like an hour of it. I might end up doing like a live stream of it or something. I feel bad for having it for so long and not doing a fucking video on it. It just... I Again, I apologize to him for taking so long. But just so you know, I do have it and I have played it. And I do plan on doing something with it in the future. And if I don't get it done within the next like three months, send me a message and I'll send you like a 20 euro PSN card or something. Because... Yeah, I feel kind of guilty for that. That's the end of his question, so I'm just going to move on right here. Rant, what platform do you enjoy playing on the most aside from the Vita? I know you spend at least some time on 3DS, PS4, and Steam, but I'm curious how your time is structured. I barely spend any time on the 3DS these days. I played everything I was interested in. It was a lot of money that I usually don't spend. But yeah, um, I most of the time I spend my time on um, my PlayStation 4. I've been getting into Battlefield 4 a lot lately, looking, looking forward to Hardline. But yeah, I spend most of my time on my PS4 these days. I would be doing more PC gaming, but my current laptop is absolute ass, the one I'm recording this on right now. And the GPU in it is broken, and it will literally run at half speed and make my computer like 10 times more prone to crash if I leave it on, so I just turn it off. So yeah, I can't do that much PC gaming. There are a bunch of PC games I like to play, though. Like, um, games that have really low specifications, like Mountain Blade Warband, Robot Roller Disco Derby Dodgeball, uh, a bunch of others. Yeah, just imagine a series of low-requirement games. I'm probably there and playing them. I used to, I played a lot of Gary's Mod, actually. I have a 1,000 hours in Gary's Mod, and 950 of those are probably from T Trouble in Terrorist Town before it actually got popular. But yeah, I have fallen out with that crowd, unfortunately. So... Do you have any specific plans for this channel when the Vita's life is over? Retire from creating videos, move towards a different handheld gaming platform, cover multiple platforms, lots of different options. That's true, there are a lot of different options. I'll probably just, like, generalize out and try and make videos based on everything. I... I, I just... I don't like the idea of generalizing out while the Vita's still alive, but I feel like if I try and do it while the Vita's still up and kicking, people are going to start leaving the channel in droves, and... It's really hard to break into the scene when you don't have a, su a subscriber base because my remote play channel has like not even 500 subs yet, which is a little bit disappointing considering I've got over 15k on the main channel. I just, I, I don't know how I would do an approach like that. Maybe I'd try and go and get a writing gig on some sort of other site. I, I just, I don't know how I would just approach that yet. I don't know. It's going to be a bit of a dick if YouTube goes down because... I'm not really doing that much with my life right now. This is the majority of my life at the moment. So if this, if this does go down, I don't have much else to do. I, I should probably get started on writing. I want to learn Japanese, but God, every time I try, I just lose the motivation to. Yeah, that was a little bit depressing. I'm going to move on before I start getting really depressed with myself. What are your favorite games of all time? Now, this one's actually a little one that I'm actually more than happy to actually start answering because I do have a few that I usually cite when someone asks me this question. I just, I have a bunch of weird fucking games that I have f uh, favorites of all time of. Uh, I think I might as well start from the beginning. Well, not from the beginning, but from just one particular game. I, I fucking love uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. That's definitely one of them. One of my favorite games of all time purely through its absolutely fantastic gameplay design where you have multiple ways to go through everything and the stealth is absolute genius. I'm so looking forward to Metal Gear Solid 5. I'm just hoping it's Metal Gear Solid 3, but better. That's basically all I'm hoping for. Um, Road Trip, as I said before. Uh, the Siphon Field, a series just in general. I fucking love those games. 
Uh, nine, nine, nine. Uh, nine hours, nine persons, nine doors, and Virtue's Last Reward, of course. That just gets lumped in there by default. Because, yeah, that is one of my favorite fucking games. I almost fell asleep on my th- DS while I was playing that. Almost. <laughs> God, I, I loved that game so much when I originally played it. Like, I, I actually went out to a dinner event, and I was about halfway through the game at that point. I just spent the entire thing glued to the fucking screen. I, I must have been so fucking rude, but God damn it, it was worth it. I've never, I've never stayed up a whole, I had never stayed up a whole night before that. Um, Halo 3. Halo 3, I've spent so much time on. I play games on a fucking 3G modem, so it was like a ping of like at least 300, but if I couldn't find an a Australian game, it used to be like 500. And god damn, did I not give a shit. That game was fucking perfect. Why do you think I bought the fucking Xbox One? As soon as they announced they were taking off the Kinect... And making the Master Chief Collection, I bought that fucking Xbox One. What a fucking mistake. What a fucking mistake. God damn it, Halo. Uh, the World Ends With You. Fantastic RPG. Really wish I had an excuse to play that again. They just took it off for uh, iOS, and I really don't hold out hope for the Android version. So, yeah, fuck that. Um, what else? God, to be perfectly honest with you, nothing else comes to mind right off the t- top of my head. Uh, God damn it. Yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tom Lavery asks, Can you please tell us more about your capture setup for the Vita? Sure, why not? So the idea is the Vita's got a, a micro USB port that you plug in under it and you plug it into a computer and you open up software on the computer and that shows you the image. But you also need to plug in something for the sound. Thankfully, my laptop has both a aux in and an aux out. So I can plug in a um, uh, the Vita's... Cable. I can plug in a, uh, an aux cable into the Vita, run that through a, a noise filter because it has a, um, the motherboard makes some really bad noise when it's running next to the Vita capability stuff, and plug that into my computer. And then I play the sound back through Windows, and I tell Fraps to record both the sound coming from Windows and the uh, the window from the capture software. So it's a, it's a really really like uh, MacGyver setup, but it works. Back when I used to, like, you know, I, I, I literally built a Lego cradle. You can see co- shots of it in the video, in my earlier videos. I built a, le- a fucking Lego cradle and used my goddamn mobile phone, which had, like, a broken focus, so I could only record in 720p. That was, that was fucking hilarious. I can't believe people actually watched those shitty videos. Holy crap. But, yeah. So, I'm gonna move on a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know, honestly. I just sit in my chair... My microphone's in front of me in a cupboard, and I just, I uh, just talk. I just record my um, audacity. I use Auda- audacity to record my voice, and then I just use the Fraps recording stuff, and then I just edit them together. That's pretty much all I do. So, there you go. What's your take on rumors of another hardware revision? God, I, as I said, I don't really like to make fucking predictions, but I really don't think if there is gonna be another one, they better make it a bunch more powerful. Or the, the Vita's gonna lose some relevance, isn't it? Because they made it with, like, the same processor that runs the iPad 2. So surely it should be pretty easy to make a better processor, better GPU, and run the old stuff on it. They better they better do that. Because with Nintendo releasing, like, the new 3DS, it's uh, it's not going to hold much relevance. The Vita's not going to hold that much relevance if they don't have uh, a big spec boost. But, yeah, the rumors, I don't... I just... I can't believe many rumors because I've believed rumors before and I've had my hopes shot down. So, yeah, there's my opinion on that. Take it or leave it. Uh, what genre do you feel is currently lacking or underrepresented on the Vita? Okay, fair enough. Um, that's a fairly good question, actually. I'd love to see more dungeon crawlers, that's for sure. I mean, we've got a couple of decent ones. Like, we've got Dragon's Crown, we've got Fantasy Hero, but, you know, those are bite-sized in comparison to a game like Torchlight. I fucking love Torchlight. I really wish they'd bring out Torchlight 2 and the Synergies mod on the Vita. But, yeah, that'll never fucking happen. It took them long enough to bring out Torchlight 1 on the Xbox, and that port was terrible from what I heard. Uh, what else is underrepresented? I'd love to see more, um... God, I really can't... Well, first-person shooters, obviously. I mean, all we've got is kills on Mercenary. Third-person shooters, too. I'd love to see, like, a third-person shooter where people just build levels and shit. You know, like, actual... Like, the little big plan of the third-person shooters. That's what I'd like to see on the Vita, personally. Something that will keep us going for a long, long time. Uh, what else do we really need on the Vita at this point? 
We don't get that many strategy games, but unfortunately the ones that do show up are anywhere between mediocre to shit. I mean, Desert Ashes is a pretty standout recent one because it's been the best one of the lot. And it basically, I, I mean, I mean no disrespect or anything to uh, Luke Bernard because I actually talk to him a fair amount on Twitter. But basically, it, it's the only reason it's that good is because it copied Advance Wars. And it, it, it is basically just Advance Wars through and through. And it is good, but it's not good on... It, it's alright on its own merits. And I do like the, the trick where the water freezes at midnight, but yeah... It's a good enough game. Okay. Um. Uh, other than that, I'm just I'm not, I'm gonna stop umming and ahhing because it's just a waste of goddamn time. Uh, let's see. In your personal opinion, do you recommend getting a Vita capsule card or buying a PSTV if you want to play Vita game, games on a bigger screen? It's a nice ad. But uh, don't buy a Vita capture card if you want to play it on a big screen. It's a fucking terrible idea. The problem with the Vita capture card stuff is that the cords don't really sit in that ne um, that well and it's really easy to knock them out, especially on the fat Vitas, like the OLED capture kits. They are really goddamn easy to knock out purely by accident and you do not want to be pl trying to play games on a big TV while you're not paying attention to the Vita itself. For the PlayStation TV, I don't actually own one, so I can't really tell you anything about that. It's a little bit... Yeah, I've been meaning to buy one, but at the same time, I, lo I look at it and I'm like, I have two PlayStation Vitas already. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, uh, what, what the hell fuck would I be doing buying a PlayStation TV? What the hell would I use it for? I would literally just be throwing $100 at literally nothing. So, I don't, I don't plan on picking up a PlayStation TV in the future. If you want to play games on the big TV, be my guest to buy a PlayStation, Vita, a PlayStation TV, but just... I mean, you won't have access to everything, so what's the goddamn point? And the games won't look that great either. They just, they get blown up to being, um, to gigantic things anyway. It's it just, they don't look that great, so, you know. Take it or leave it, but I just, I, I'm not I'm not that big of a fan of the idea of it. I prefer playing them on the Vita. I love remote play purely because I can lie in bed and play Battlefield 4 while I'm just, you know, lying in bed. My TV's turned off and I could just, you know, play that till 11 o'clock then. Put my v uh, PS4 in standby mode. Remember that I've got a game of of some fucking RPG going. Ignore that. Put the video in standby. Go to sleep. I love that. I love that little set of features there. It's absolutely fantastic. And finally, Bakokorok. So when are you going to do that Resistance Revolution stream? Uh, yeah, that one's going to be a long time coming. Um, I don't think my computer's good enough to handle that stream right now. Just because of the way my computer's actually been acting up in the past few months. The fact that it hasn't completely died on me yet is amazing. Uh, when, when will I be doing that though? I don't know. Maybe I'll just do it like a weekly play thing. Maybe I can ask the Vita Lounge to be like, Hey, can we play Resistance Retribution for a couple of weeks on your Lounge Play stuff? So that we can, um, so you know, that we can just remember that game before it's gone. You know what? Might as well. Uh, I'll send a tweet to them when I export this video or something. Uh, that's it for the questions. That was most of them. I, of course, I did ignore the ones about, like, personal questions and the, um, you know, game predictions and all that. But, yeah, that was about half an hour worth of questions. I hope somebody found some use in me sitting and rambling to my fucking computer screen for half, a f screen for half an hour. I am a terrible speaker, but, you know, the more of these that I do, the better at it I get. So, might as well just leave it at this. I'm going to go and check on my Vita now. I've been leaving it to download some old games because I felt like filling up the memory card. Because, goddamn, you know, I, I've played like 70 hours of Soul Sacrifice Delta and I'm starting to get that itch for it. So, who the hell knows? Maybe I'll play some of that tonight. This has been Blue Maxima. Thanks for watching, you bloody idiots. Now go do something more worthwhile of your time. I'll see you all next time.